You see what I see? I see a bunny. A beautiful bunny. He's handsome. He's watching me though. He knows I'm watching him. Look at that rabbit. Check it out guys. Check it out. A rabbit. A big rabbit. Morning everybody. Can you see that? It's a little bit colder this morning, you can see my breath. It's that crisp, but it's still absolutely beautiful. I keep saying the word beautiful, I've got to think of some different ways to describe the world at the moment. But I'm really struggling because that's all I keep thinking. It's beautiful. It's lovely. The world isn't so bad, which is quite different to how I saw the world at the beginning of the set of my homeless journey videos, I guess. Yeah, rocking my new sandals and my new shorts. Well, my shorts aren't new, my shorts are second hand. From my very charity shop, which is Ace. I really need to get around to doing some reading. I keep just meditating on the bus, <laughs> just zoning out, staring at nothing. Even I don't have any music on even at the moment. I'm just liking sort of just null time where I just kind of let the world go by. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, hold on. I'm after rabbits in the bush. Find anything, boys? Come on, let's go. Breakfast. Come, Poppy Breckins. There we go. Rabbit hunting over. Had a couple of minutes, had a couple of minutes free. Just got in town early. Didn't fancy a coffee, so instead I came here. Good morning everybody. Excuse the puffy face and everything. It's Sunday and it's my day off so I don't care. Didn't do any video yesterday because it was Saturday and that's not a really good reason but didn't do very much anyway yesterday. Just worked, busy day at work and then uh, came home and went to sleep. That's it, boring day really. Nothing especially fun happened although I did get some cool things from work. Uh, so. I got overcharged at work the other day, so um, it was we we're doing like three for a pound of CDs. So I picked up some uh, CDs. I got Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Abattoir Blues, and I got um, Speaker Box and the Love Below, which I used to have ages ago, and somehow I lost it. Uh, what I thought I'd show you today is something quite interesting, or I think it's interesting, is you know I've been on this minimalist kind of kick, getting rid of loads of things. Uh, one of the major things that I had lots of was clothes and completely mostly unnecessary as I've discovered because I put them all away into a bag and so today I'm going to unpack that bag what is my minimalist clothes stash you ask well since going on a minimalist kick I took all my clothes that I wasn't immediately using and I put them in a bag and sealed the bag up and I've not been in this bag for about a month I think so what I thought I'd do today is unpack and look at all the stuff that I brought extra that I didn't need to show you what I didn't need. So um, here we go. So this is the suitcase I am using. So small suitcase, but as you can see, it's fairly half full. There's loads of room in here for more things if I wanted to, but I'm not filling it up. I'm keeping minimalist. Let's get that one out of the way. Right. Now this bag is rammed full. Now this is a, I don't know how many litre hiking rucksack and it's absolutely rammed with clothes. So the idea of today is to unpack this, sort what's actually either saleable, uh, 
donatable or scrappable and bag it up appropriately really. <laughs> That's the bag emptied. Let me just bring you over and show you how much stuff it is. That's the maybe pile. That is the donations pile. That is the rags pile. Now, I'm still going to take this all to the charity shop, but I'm going to bag it up separately because this we could could be resold, but this will be sold in bulk to uh, a rag merchant to even still make money for a charity. You find that most charity shops do have a ragging facility. Um, but if you're donating to a charity shop, make sure you bag it separately so you know it's scrap and horrible and they probably can't resell it. Bag it up separate so they, they know, so they don't have to go through filthy, dirty, stained clothes or anything like that. Because it's rank and it's what I have to do. So, I've probably got about two kilos of clothes uh, that I'm just going to give away. And I've also freed up this massive rucksack and cleared loads more space under the desk here. That process really worked. I hadn't looked at those clothes forever. My attachment to them had completely waned, so I didn't feel at all like, oh, but I must keep this, I must keep it. I've just been able to let go of it. The set that I had kept, some of the ones I've grown out of, I'll put on too much um, fat, I guess, or muscle, I'm not sure, and grown out of. So I needed to replace them in my sort of keeping set. And I kept one poncho for winter times. So it's not bad, I've got a hoodie and a poncho. It's not really bad, is it? Um, so yeah, there we go. My minimalist kick going forward. There we go, Half of my, over half of my clothes are going to the charity shop.